Hello everybody, Hyper Mario Sunshine here, and we're back for some more Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last episode, we made it here to, I believe this is Island, uh, island six, 6 Island, I believe? And we're listening to some more Johto music, because why not? And uh, we've made it to this new route, and there's quite a few Pokemon that you can see here. Uh, obviously, there's some old Pokemon here, but there's also some new ones like Marill, which we actually caught off screen. Because uh, I found one when I was training. And please run. Oh no, we're dead. Or not. There we go. So yeah, we're doing a little bit of off-screen training. We didn't really level up too much, except for maybe like one Pokemon. I think it was uh, our Dragonair uh, Chai. So uh, yeah, this route here is quite weird. I th again, this is like the part where I'm playing blind. Because uh, I never went to the Subby Islands before so this is like a sort of ish blind playthrough at this point oh no please okay good <laughs> but yeah it's kind of a blind playthrough at this point uh which is very interesting because our last let's play was uh, a blind one and i guess pikmin is also well, since our next uh let's play so technically we already are going through it pikmin uh, is also technically one as well so it's pretty interesting that we have that going on And the ways, yeah, as you can see, Chai leveled up. I believe our Night Hills also leveled up. Are you in... Oh, shit, there's something over there. I did not notice early. And we have a Natu. Uh, I already caught that off screen, I think, along with the Marill. I was catching some Johto Pokemon. Natu evolves into Xatu, Psychic Flying, and, of course, I'm pretty familiar with the later on these parts. Of course, they have a trainer just walks around and doesn't even try to fight you. You have to talk to them to fight them. His name is Hector, after my second favorite FE Lord. Hector's still a really cool lord. There we go. Got a Kangaskhan coming up. Probably is more bulkier Pokemon. I think this should actually get a... Oh no, it's definitely going to endure this hit. Will Double Kick actually finish it? Okay, good. It didn't uh, use endure. And yes, it should. So yeah, uh, basically only have just the rest of the islands to go through. And uh, brief facing the Elite Four, but I think we're very underleveled for it. But we do have one le last Legendary Pokemon to catch, though, so at least there's that. And yeah, here's a Morel to show you that they're here. I believe you need a Water Stone to evolve them? I might be wrong here. It could be level up. I mean, we leveled up, so... Let's get Mint to the front of the party. I believe there's a lot of hikers here, so it'd be pretty useful to, to use a mid tier. And yeah, I'm right. Uh, it's like a little maze. Uh, could face a lot of these trainers off screen. Anyways, here we are. Door doesn't budge at all. Check it more thoroughly. Closer to the question, there are several dots on the door. Uh, great, this is like the Reggie puzzles. There are several dots on the door. And it shows that. Uh, yeah, this is very weird because I... Again, I, this is blind to me. Um, let me see. Yeah, let's head back for now. Uh, I guess while we're doing this, we could... see here. Uh, we could fight a trainer just to pass time so I can think of what I'm doing. Right. Let's 
suspect it has something to do with the ruins here. So the mystery stone. So this is likely where the sapphire is. And oh wow, these are ruined maniacs. So these are definitely new trainers here, actually. I'm surprised that they keep a lot of these in the late game. Well, not late game, but post game. Alright, see, it seems like upon further inspection, it tells you to use Cut. Ah, oh, great. We don't have any Pokemon on us right now that have Cut. So this is a... Pretty... Iffy. Revenge. I don't think this is going to Revenge kill us since it didn't really do much damage. I don't even know who could learn Cut, to be honest. I mean, Cut's not even a good move. I do believe we could find a move deleter, if anything, so... Right, let's see who could learn Cut. Uh, Mint and Clove. Bite, double kick. Earthquake we're keeping, obviously. Bite, double kick. I feel like we should get rid of Bite here since I think double kick is alright for now. Uh, alright, and then we'll fi try, probably fi try finding a move deleter for now because I don't want to head all the way back just to cut out all that stuff. I mean, it's a little lazy, but whatever. Here we go, and Pokemon. Dude, clove, cut. And there we go. The dotted hole. Now, uh, I don't know if there's any new Pokemon here. Again, this is still quite blind to me. So let's head down to the dotted hole. Alright, this one says... I'm guessing this is saying up, because there's only two of them. I guess each, like, dotted thing says out a letter. So, up. Yeah, this one's left. This one's right, because there's five. And I'm guessing the last one is down. Yeah. And there it is! We have found the sapphire. Ooh, I guessed right. I was right in tailing you. I knew that the sapphire's here, so it belongs to me. I'll sell it to Team Rocket for serious money. D don't glare at me like that. If you want it back, why don't you go get it after I sell it? I'll even tell you one of the passwords to Team Rocket's warehouse. The warehouse password I know is... Yeah, nah, Chansey. I'm done. Don't think badly of me. Let's see what says here. Let, okay, so what it tells me here is like, let the two glittering stones, one in red, one in blue, connect to the past. Two friends sharing power. Open a window to a new world that glows. The world next to you awaits. Well, that's what everything said in that order. So yeah, with that, it's telling you that you could trade with uh, Gen 3 games, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. So, yeah, now you can finally get the, once you obtain the Sapphire, you can finally get those coveted Gen 3 Pokemon that you've been wanting for so long. Because you can only get the Gen 2 Pokemon here in the wild, but the Gen 3 ones you can't really get unless you trade. So, any Pokemon from the starters to your Mudkips to, well, well technically that is a starter, your, uh, your Ralts, your Zigzagoons, etc. You can't get until you finish up your, uh stuff needed here but yeah seems like we're gonna have to head back to five island because well we basically found out what was going on here at six island we do still need to fit uh, search out the rest of uh, six island though 
Hey Leaf, how's your Pokédex going going up? It looks like it's impossible to get all the Pokémon hanging around just these parts. Maybe there are Pokémon we don't know about somewhere far away. Well, if I can't do that, there's no way for you to get it done. I'm not going all desperate all over this. I'll keep collecting Pokémon at my own pace while I train them. That's what I'll do. There's no point staying here. I may as well leave for home. That's that, then. Smell you later. Well, then it looks like Blue has given up, but we aren't going to give up because we need those gems to trade with Emerald, Ruby, and Sapphire. And there we have it. All right. So let's head back to Five Island to go to that warehouse, and we should be taking on Team Rocket. We still have Seven Island to go after, actually, so we do need to worry about that. And then afterwards, we're going to be heading off to likely the final dungeon of the game. Uh, let's see here. Here we go. Also, we can finally get this item while we're at it. Why not? We also do need to find the move the leader off screen. All right, max potion. Not bad. Not bad. I wish that the Poke the wild Pokemon music was different uh, when you came here. So at least the cent Centret being uh, a darker brown. So like every time I see, it, I think it's like a golden, like Tanuki like color. It's like making me think, oh my god, it's the shiny. Every time I see it. Yeah, anyways, let's see here. If I could just keep stop, like, stop walking into all these wild meows. It's also pretty funny how there's just so many meows and Persians here. In these parts. I guess the Sebi Islands are known for that, obviously, but I mean, like, it, it, there's a lot over here near Team Rocket. It's a warehouse. Enter the two passwords, go the need a log, and yes, not Chansey. And the warehouse door has opened to us. And of course, with Team Rocket fashion, we have our favorite puzzles to go through. And we get the first item here, a big pearl, so we can sell that for some good amount of money. Uh, next up is, let's see here. Got an upgrade. This is good if you want to give it to your quarry god, I think? I don't know. Looks like she won't be moving. And I guess these are all caged Pokemon. Oh, now your Pokemon looks strong. You're willing to sell them? Oh, you wanted a battle. Yeah, so I guess there was no way to really pass this uh, trainer here. See, so, yeah, sorry for not being consistent, but thank god I have passed all my classes. And look, more Gen 2 Pokemon. We have a Houndor. Uh, fire and dark Pokemon, but we shouldn't really have it out right, have mint out right now, or else uh, that would bring us some serious trouble. But uh, yeah, so finished with all my classes, passed all of them, so we could pretty much freely stream and record all we need to do uh, for the next month or so. So really happy about that. So very sorry for like the last week or so of me being like inconsistent with uh, streaming and uploading. But now we're back to normal. I need to just check if I passed everything. There we go. That should take out that last hound door. There we go. There are many Pokemon. Yeah, see? I was right. There's uh, many Pokemon locked in. Uh, let's see where this one takes us. Oh, just back here. Actually, wait, we could actually do this now. And we got a pearl, so we got two different pearls now. Let's see where this one brings us. Oh, it just brings us back here. Huh. Let's see, let's try this one over here again. I 
Left side up. And oh no, it's another rocket grunt. You come here knowing it was Team Rocket's warehouse? And yes, we did, because it looked very obvious. Especially, I believe there was a giant rocket grunt. Well, well rocket grunt surrounding the building, but also the giant R. Me, I kind of came up with like a theory on why some Pokemon don't evolve in like evil groups, and that's probably because like they they don't like their trainers, thus they don't want to become strong, like stronger by evolving. That's kind of my theory, but I don't know. Cause like, why else do they have like a level fifty Machop on them? Well, almost level fifty. Cause like, it kind of makes no sense. Cause it should be a Machoke. Or, you know, since there's so many Rocket members, they could just trade amongst each other and get Machamp pretty easily. But otherwise, it's just weird that they just have so many high-level Machops. Ooh, so Mr. that's gonna hurt. Not really. Alright, this should end this fight. It's not really much rocket members around here, so... Yeah, there's only like, I think this is like the last trainer before the uh, boss of this area. There we have it, Mint has grown up to level 51. What do you think you're doing? Alright, uh... Let's go send this down. Let's lead us to the same area. Oh, never mind. I'm done. They don't lead us to the same area. Yeah, it's pretty crazy that they... This is, like, the only time in the game where you see, like, these sprites with, uh... Like, actual cage Pokemon. Should I this one? Nope. Oh, I'm just going to bring us back here in a circle. Uh, let's try this one then. Alright, okay, okay. Do progress. We're just going to have to slowly make our way through this without accidentally uh, going to another button. And over here we have a sludge bo- Oh, okay, okay, okay. I've been waiting for this for quite a while, and that was getting a poison type move for... Good old Clove here. Thank God. I've been waiting for this for a while. We'll get rid of Double Kick for now. We might get Bite Back on Clove or Double Kick uh, once we get rid of Cut Off Screen. Yeah, thank God we finally got that. Alright, then there's these two. And we have another required rocket fight, but we do see someone over there on a computer, so... I got a word about you from the others, but there's no way a kid like you would know our boss Giovanni. And these rocket members still don't get the uh, memo from Giovanni, and... Oh boy, we got a hypno. Okay, this thing could legit one-shot us. Well, not one-shot us, because we're... Basically, low on health to begin with, but you know what I mean. Yeah, so uh, expect Pikmin within the coming weeks. Uh, I also still gotta do my review of Pikmin 3. Oh my god. I'm forgetting so many things. Please, Gouda. Oh my god, that was a lot of damage. Oh yeah, it was Swagger. Wait a second. Oh, wait, I for keep forgetting that the special split didn't happen yet. Oh, no. Well, there goes Gouda. Okay, let's try H2O here. H2O gonna clutch it out for us again. Boy, its attack is raising. Even though, what, why do you even have that? This physical special split didn't even happen yet. 
You're just raising your attack for nothing. It's Hypno again. This guy got two of them. Wonder if uh, we could find Ice Beam as a TM, so we could potentially give that to H2O. Oh no! This could either be hit this Hypno's biggest mistake, or it's gonna hurt us a lot, like how it did earlier. All right, there we go. That should. Oh, never mind. And how come it did more damage to us? Unless it's like a bug in the game where it just like hurts us more. I don't know. Maybe we should have done a bite. There we go. Wow. Very. And a crit. That makes no sense. Uh, Alright. Uh, there we go. There's a the level up right there. And. Level 51. H2O. Finally. Don't you dare laugh. Don't mess in doing doings of adults. You jumped up, Pipsqueak. Uh, well, oh my god, there's a lot. There's a lot more than I originally thought then. Uh, let's put Shy in the front. Here we go. And got another female Rocky Grunt member. I don't know or care if what I'm doing is right or wrong. I just put my faith in Giovanni and do as I am told. We got a muck to start off. Uh, Waterfall could actually flinch a muck here. Or not. And that's going to slow us down. Uh, surf. Oh, no. Of course, we're poisoned. I think we do have shed skin, though, but. Alright, let's see if it has. Yeah, it has both high spe defense and special defense. Uh, yeah, Cloak could do this, actually. Clove, Earthquake, one shot. Well, technically, one shot. It should have been. Uh, really trying to think. Uh, oh, yeah, there is... So I am likely going to get the Shining Fates uh, deck that's coming out next year. I already pre-ordered uh, two small boxes. Because they already sold out everywhere the big ones. The Elite Trainer boxes with e Gigantamax EV on there. Which is kind of sad because uh, I was trying to actually pre-order like one for myself. But couldn't. Please. Oh, and it's, it's coming out February, so that's likely the next time we're going to get it, probably. Alright, uh... Cut, I guess? I don't know. Wait a second, whoa, 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 whoa. why does the Arbuck... Is that like a fully... Is it fully heal or something? What the heck? That's very dumb. All right. It's got a Valk Plume Earthquake, maybe? I don't know. That did not do as much as I thought. Or I guess Earthquake again, I don't know. <laughs> Dang, this thing's just tanking. Uh, 
Uh, maybe try Sludge Bomb? Oh no. Oh my god. Please. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, uh, yep, there. That's a rip there for Clove. See who else we have. I can't really do it. Uh, yo, my Cayenne. What am I forgetting? This should do it. There we go. Things according to your beliefs and morals. I understand now. I've made it so that you can come back through here. Why don't you get rest and refresh for what lies ahead? The admin after me outranks me thoroughly as a trainer. You better steal yourself once for a hard challenge. Oh boy. Uh, let's see, do we have full heal? Yes. We're gonna have to heal up everyone here. Well, except for actually, could we go? No, 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 no. no. That's a that'd take a lot of time to do. All right, just gonna go in with the uh, four Pokemon we do have that are they haven't fainted. All right, there we go. All right. Here we go. Yeah. Hopefully all goes well here. We're gonna send out probably Cayenne first. Here we go. That's quite enough of you playing hero, the hero kid, spreading lies about how Team Rocket has disbanded. It's obvious an attempt to cause confusion in our ranks. Fortunately, we we're, we're not so ignorant to fall for the lies of a child. And now I'll show you how scary an angry adult can be. Here we go. We got the Ad Team Rocket Admin. Uh, but he doesn't really have anything unique about him. But admins have existed in Team Rocket since Gen 2. And they actually do get names in Gen 4's uh, remakes for Pokemon Gold and Silver. Which are Heart Gold Soul Silver. Anyways, he has a gold app to start off here. Let's see what he has in store for us. Confusing us. Great. Of course we're going to hit ourselves. Our luck is just that bad. And we get poison. We get poison fused. Please. Ah. Uh... How that was really annoying. <laughs> All right, Chai H two O H two O. We could just freeze it or something. But the Aurora, no Aurora Beam doesn't freeze, but whatever. We could still take a good chunk of its HP out. Oh, what? How do we get poisoned again? All right, we're gonna. Quick attack here. Because we're obviously slower than it, so. Oh, we forgot we don't have quick attack anymore. Oh, of course these rocket members actually healed themselves now. And. Please, for the love of God. No. 
think that's gonna be it for H2O. Oh, we're living. We're barely living. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. We're gonna have to oh my god, that did a lot of damage. Restore. Oh boy. Oh my god, if we were going to get poisoned there again, I would have been so angry. Of course- oh my god. Why? Why do you do this to me? Swear to god. There we go. Holy shit. Uh, let's send out Mint. Because I'm not having any of these rocket stuff right now. And, oh, that was kind of a bad idea. And I don't know why Pixel or Beam could just done double edge. It's likely going to faint here. Plus, it'd be kind of funny if the wheezing did do explosion. Yeah, we should actually heal up our whole party, not gonna lie. Let's try Thunder Wave, actually. Alright, good, good, good. Oh, nice. Alright, we, we might actually be able to pull this off. my god. And there goes Shy. Alright, we're gonna have to have the clutch here. <laughs> Yo, this is... He just fell right into this his own trap. He thought he was gonna win with Explosion. But he didn't realize he had a water type left to take care of. Alright, that should do it. Hound Doom is final Pokemon. Boy, does that sprite look kind of creepy. It just has like red dots for. <gasps> oh god. Alright, we're gonna heal up here. fine here. Alright. One bite should do this. Tries to crunch, we'll bite back. There we go! We have done it. That was kind of scary, but each show clutching it out for us yet again. Er, you were too strong. But that's Giovanni's badge. So it is true. Team Rocket really has disbanded. We will abandon this warehouse. But don't think this is over. I won't let this be the end. I'll find G Giovanni and I will resurrect Team Rocket. I will. Until then, farewell. Airport graphs, Texas on the PC monitor, influence magnetic waves on Pokemon Evolution. It's too difficult to understand. Well, telephone better not use. Okay, words that don't make sense. Oh, and this guy. Oh, we found him. Almost made you sell the cell fire for huge money. And you had to come along and blow the whole deal apart. Ooh, there's no forgiveness for you. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. This guy's probably got all electric tanks. Oh, no. All right, we're going to have to use our last freaking max revive on Quilf here because... This guy's likely going to have all electric types trying to kill us. Oh, that this is taking way longer than I expected. 
Alright, Surf, hopefully this one shot so we can just switch to uh, Clove, please do. Yes, good, 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 good. Yep, now he's busting out Electro. This is definitely going to outspeed uh, each Joe here, so let's get this over with. Oh my god. This is a huge mess. Luckily, we're still able to somehow pull this off. I had to use the last Max Revive, or else uh, I would have likely had to backtrack. It's Porygon. Oh, I guess he wasn't going to have an all-electric team. Well, I guess Porygon is sort of technological, or I guess, in a way. Wow, that was critical hit. Sludge, Sludge Bomb already making moves. And Magnemite's next. Alright, so he's likely going to have Magneton. And that should do it. Because... Holy shit. That, that shouldn't be taking too much. Well, upgrade is meant to evolve... Uh, now I remember now. Upgrade is meant to evolve Porygon into Porygon 2. Because uh, Porygon 2 is a Gen 2 Pokemon, so... He's got Magneton as his last mod. And this should be easy. I wish they actually bought this back for Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. All the Sebi Islands. I don't know why they didn't they didn't put it for Let's Go. I think it would have been so cool. I guess they're saving the Gen 2 Pokemon for uh, a possible Gen 2 Let's Go game. God darn. Darn darn. If I can't sell it, it's worthless. Go ahead, take it. And we finally have gotten the Sapphire. Right, so, a bunch of complicated words that don't make sense. Nice and different colors. I do... There is an Easter egg around here, actually. Telephone better not use it. It's a new color sludge. Oh, we found a nest ball. Nice. I guess. There is an Easter egg around here, but... God, where is it? Not sure if it's like around here, around here, but... Let's see... I mess around with it... Oh yeah, I wonder how it's unlocked. Pokemon have appeared... Have a... So yes, we have rescued the Pokemon as well. Uh, anyways, I don't think I can find the Easter egg. It's pretty weird. I don't know why, like, I remember it being around here, but... Unless I'm just remembering it wrong? I don't know. Because I do remember somewhere in this laboratory that there was a, uh... There is an Easter egg of sorts. That, uh, does hint out at a later game in the series, but I can't seem to find it. I don't, I can't seem to find it. Anyways, I believe the Easter egg is that one that mentions how Giovanni has a son with red hair. And uh, that Sun with Red Hair is most likely Silver from the Gen 2 games, uh, your rival. And we actually did, you know, if you remember my Crystal Let's Play, oh my god, that was almost a decade ago. Then, uh, yeah, that, that, that was a thing. Uh, but yeah, I think that is it. We got the Sapphire, let's head back and bring it, and then we're gonna end off the episode there. Sorry for this being a little bit of a longer episode, but I do want to provide a lot of content for you guys. And also, because we're basically almost at the end of this, there's no point in just cutting it before the uh, finale. Let's head back to One Island with the uh, st with the Sapphire in hand, and let's go inside and show Bill's friend what we got.
Hand of the Sapphire Celio. So this is the gem that forms a pair with the ruby. Leek, you've gone through a lot to get this, didn't you? You don't have to tell me. I know it wasn't easy. Thank you so much. Now it's my turn to work for you. Please give me a little time. Okay, this is good. I did it. I linked up with Lynette. So yes, Lynette is the uh, the PC gal in the Hoenn region. Leaf, I did it. I managed to link up with trainers in the Hoenn region. Finally, the network machine is fully option operational. Leaf, I owe it all to you. Thanks to you, my dream came true. I I'm not crying. That's enough about me. Leaf, you're going to keep looking for exotic Pokemon, right? I wish you the best of luck. Alright, we've done it. We have completed the machine. We do have one more island to explore, and then we're going to head to Cerulean City, which we'll do that in the next episode. And we're likely going to have to do some training off-screen in the meantime. So, love my videos, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe to my channel, really appreciate it. Next time on Pokemon Leaf Green, we're going to be, well, heading off to uh, Seven Island and Cerulean Cave. See you guys then. Peace.